Welcome back to the channel. And the back to all things, you know. The part series I was doing, the Minister Lives, is done for right now until more lives come out. Uh, so we're getting back to Tahoe things. Um, even though I know my life is going to be on the line now after that. So I'm prepared to die about the truth. But, yeah, I'm going to see if I get some more running boys. Because as you see, my running boys, they've been cracked up. They, they didn't seem better days. Um, if I can find a Tahoe, they got some good running boys that ain't busted. Um, as y'all know, there's another thing I'm going to do. I'm planning on doing it later. Probably later on when the temperature rises a little more. It's not bad right now, but I'm watching legit street cars. But you see this running, this running board is better, but see it's broken on the side. Go ahead and try to do that. Get some more running boards. Um, they're only 10 millimeter bolts. Uh, this is another thing I'm going to see about doing um, later on. Also, uh, my throttle body. Uh, this, I have picked up another throttle body. Uh, I'm going to do like bro was saying. Go ahead and pull it off, sand it down, clean it. Um, I can't remember his name. But you know, when you see this video, you know who you are. You know who you was mentioning to tell me about it before. Uh, go ahead and take this, sand it down, um, clean it out. You know, picked up another throttle body. Uh, let y'all see, I got, you know, the good parts, you know, that I'm keeping for the next block. You know, throttle body bolts, uh, you know, alternator bolts. You know, I'm keeping the good parts. Let me see if I get me another door panel too, cause my mom broke my door panel with her rocks. And when my dog tore up her backyard, she come clean this up. But when your rocks broke my door panel, you wasn't gonna fix it. That's why people can't put nothing in my truck. It's mine, it's for me only. But um, yeah, what I wanna do is, this is another thing I wanna do. Uh, when I get the motor, uh, I'm still shopping around for a motor. As y'all seen, these LS motors, motors ain't cheap like they used to be. You used to be to go get a motor for like four, five hundred. Now these LS motors, they highly sought. Everybody want fifteen hundred or better. But what I want to do is, I want to tune the motor. I want to tune it. You know, uh, you know, y'all know the five threes in the 07 through fourteen. Um, tall PPVs or towels in general. They run 320 horses. Hopefully I can get like 350, 355, you know, get the same amount of horsepower as um the the 15 plus Tahoes and a um 6.0 Caprice PPVs. Um uh, hopefully I can boost it up what another 35 horse horses. You know, run 355 horses out of 53 out of 07 through 14 Gen Tahoe. Hopefully I can tune it up, tune it to to run it, you know. Um, another thing I'm probably do later on today is I'm going to get up under here and pull my start off. Um, that's one thing I think I'm going to do. I, you know, y'all see that that brand new starter. That starter is, you know, it's only like 10 minutes used. <laughs> 20 minutes used at max. Um, get up under here, pull that start off. Um. You know, because that starter is staying. Uh, Y'all know that's a brand new starter. That's staying. Um, so, what I plan on doing is uh, putting that starter, taking that starter with me when I go find another factory, put it on the factory, or use the starter that's on there, you know, and jump start the motor from the starter. You know, the head run before I hand over any money, head run, you know, things like that. Make sure it's all straight. You know, then get it back here, do some work, do tune up, uh, put new start on that tune up, water pump, do everything while the motor is out. Tune up, water pump, um, starter. Uh, something else I wanted to do on a new one. Uh, do the, oh yeah, do the DOD delete uh, on a new block. That way when it goes in, hey, I'm gonna probably send it off to a shop to have them do it because I don't have a motor hoist here. And Doing it at my current living situation. Doing it on the streets pretty risky, cause you know I have people 
this person lying on me and they might lie and say, oh, I'm stripping a car or they got a weapon on me while I'm pulling the motor out and then, you know, and then the police slide up and then, you know, they may say something. Hey, you ain't supposed to be pulling the motor out while out on the street. Um, you know, you, you never know. Uh, and I could, uh, I ain't gonna risk putting it in the backyard because, you know, this ain't, this ain't, let's just face it, this ain't my place. You know, I'm just borrowed here. You know, and I don't want to hear people crying about the backyard. You know, they might want to come back and pull the car in. I don't know. So, I'm going to just play it smart and just send it off to a shop, have them pull the motor out, put a, drop the new motor in. Oh, yeah, I'm going to probably get that clamp, too. Um, legit street cars know about it. The guy down at the CPD maintenance shop told me about it with the exhaust. He said, I think he said, some of the six exhaust like the brake. It's a clamp. I done seen the clamp. It's a clamp you put on that. You bolt it down to put the exhaust back to the block. Y'all, y'all remember my truck was loud when when I was driving. So uh, get that quiet, you know, ride quiet again. But yeah, so that that's what I'm planning on doing. Hopefully, I can get uh, some running. Hopefully, I can run across some decent running boards today. Uh, probably install them tomorrow. If I get them today, probably install them tomorrow. Uh, Cause I had some time. I ain't gonna have much time throughout the week, you know. Uh, for right now, I got a little extra time on the weekends. And then I'm also keeping my eyes. It's two cars I'm low-key keeping my eyes on. It's a Durango Pursuit. Yeah, I know about Durango Pursuit oil coolers, but I don't care. Get an aftermarket oil cooler, slap it on there. Uh, you know, before it blows the motor. And it's a Caprice PPV 6.0. Man, got a blown train. Man, my my car addictions is picking up now. My car addictions is picking up. You know, um, I don't need no help neither. I got a car addiction. I don't, I don't want no help. You know, so I don't need it, but I want it. Man, this this the this the troubles about loving cars. You get you get to a car addiction. You just want it. You just want it. You just want it. But anyways, I catch y'all in the next video. As always, stay positive, stay blessed. Like, comment, subscribe. I catch y'all in the next one. I'm out. Shut up, dog. <laughs>